Hi again, YouTubers, and Happy New Year. This is my favorite 15 of 2015, plus a giveaway. So I'm going to go through and kind of tell you about the things that stuck out to me this year. Um, 15 items, because 2015, and then I'm going to do the giveaway at the end. So let's get started here. First things first, I will tell you is a foundation. And the foundation kind of has two different ways that I like it, and is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I have it in the color 5.5, comes in a glass jar with a nice pump to it. This foundation was my go-to all summer long for the entire summer. I just used this every single time I went anywhere. I do love this. However, now as we're getting into winter and my skin is a little bit more oily, um, I am loving the Lasting Silk UV Foundation, which is the color 5.75. The colors are not exactly the same in these. So, and you can see how much darker this 5.5 is versus the 5.75. This is what I have on today. I am super, super, super pale. I just got back yesterday from uh, Cape Cod and I did not do any self tanning up there. So I'm super, super, super pale, like ridiculous. So using the lighter foundation, but I do like that one anyway and just bring it up a little bit with some bronzers or I can wear it as is. In the winter time, the foundations I tend to go for tend to be a little bit more foundations that are a little bit lighter and I can add bronzer to them if I need because my self tanner kind of varies uh, depending on what day of the week it is and how long it's been since I've had one. So I like that a lot. Um, let me know, do you guys wanna see a top five foundations for winter? I usually do one every season. Let me know. Next thing I have been loving this year, I use this during the summer every single day, during the day. And now as we go into fall and winter, I have used this pretty much every time I go to the gym. Peter Thomas Roth CC Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Complexion Corrector. This is what they look like. I have the color light to medium and medium to tan. Medium to tan is more summertime. This is more now. Sometimes I have to mix them a little bit. The medium to tan has a little bit more of an orange undertone to it and the light to medium is a little bit more of a kind of beigey undertone. They come in a squeeze tube. You just squeeze out what you need. You do not need much of this. Trust me, it is shocking how far that will go. I would say I use about a little bit more than a pea sized amount when I do that. But absolutely love that stuff. It really is just great, has amazing coverage. Love it. Another thing, if you watch my face of the month, I cannot live without. I have not, since I started using this, I have not used anything else. I've not gone a day without using it, I don't think. And it is the Tarte CC Corrector in the color light to medium. This is what it looks like. It is just the most, I mean, check out one of my face of the months. The most amazing thing. I have gone through probably this year, three of these. This is probably my fourth one. This is a new one. Cannot live without it. Cannot, cannot live without it. Uh, setting powder that I have found and loved this year. My girlfriend Sarah told me about this. Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder. I have this in the color Light Neutral. I have this on today as well. Uh, this is this one is down to the bottom. I do have a new one of these. Uh, it is. I am skimming the edges of it, but it is a really nice foundation. Nice coverage. Pretty. Feels weightless. Gives you a nice healthy glow without looking too healthy, <laughs> too glowy. There we go. It just has a beautiful finish to it. I absolutely love it. Concealer, Urban Decay, might as well stay with that, right? Urban Decay Naked Skin. It is the Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I have this in the color Medium Light. Again, have this on under my eyes as well. It comes in a doe foot applicator. I have a review coming up of this. Um, it just, something about this, the NARS Creamy, Radiant Creamy Concealer was my favorite one last year. And this one is just easier to blend. It doesn't cake up or dry out. It is just so smooth, but so good of coverage. Just absolutely beautiful. Uh, next thing, bronzer. You guys know it's what I have on today. It is what, again, if you followed my face of the month, I have worn since summertime. The Hourglass Ambient Luminous Bronze Light. I almost didn't buy this. Now you can see the divot in the middle there. Can you see the little bit of a divot gone already? It used to have a like dome and now it's going concave instead of above. Um, this is something that I almost didn't buy. 
and I think I watched, I think it was Brianna Stanko had a video about it, and I was like, all right, I'll give it a shot, and people wanted to know my opinion. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Just makes your skin look beautiful. It's got a beautiful bronze color to it. Absolutely gorgeous. On to, I'll do a brush. Favorite brush of the year. If you told me I could only have probably one brush from this year, the Marc Jacobs, I think this one is called the Face One. The numbers have worn off. That is the only thing I will say is bad about this. It used to say Marc Jacobs. Now it just says Marc J and a half a A. And it used to have the name down here, but that has worn off. But this brush you can use for liquid foundation, you can use it for powder foundation, you can use it to kind of contour with a bronzer, you can use it for blush. It is well worth it. Just an amazing brush. It is very dense, very easy to work with, very easy to clean. Synthetic, absolutely amazing. Love that. On to eyes, then I have three things for eyes. Face tends to take up most of mine because those are my favorite things. This was towards the end of the year, but this is a standout thing for me. I think, think, think that I had purchased one of these a while back and returned it. I don't know why. I don't know what my thought process was. I probably thought it was too boring, but since I have gotten this, I use this all the time. It is just amazing. It is all I have on right now. Again, it's the, oh here, I guess I should show you this way. The Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. Absolutely beautiful. The colors are all matte. Uh, there are a few cool tone ones in through this middle area here, but this one's slightly. These are more warm toned. This is definitely warm toned. This is kind of an in-between of both. I have this one all over the lid today with a little bit of this in the crease and this on my brow bone, and that's it. I, when I have no tan, I do very little as far as eye makeup because it just looks overdone on me if I do. But love that, absolutely beautiful. Eyeliner. Now, last year I loved my Marc Jacobs highliners. Still do, absolutely love them. But I don't like to use them to line my top line. It is the Estee Lauder Little Black Liner, thin, thick, thin, ultra fine, in zero one on it. Shake well. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and you shake it. You can hear the ball in it. This side has a thin point to it that does a thin line, which is amazing for up on to do. It is the best thing I have used to do just a cat eye and a wing line at the top. Then the other side has a thick, look at that, and they're so dark. Now this I use for two different things. I can use it to kind of fill in that cat eye or I use it like I did today just to touch it into my waterline and kind of give my lashes a little bit of extra volume to it. Absolutely love it. It stays amazing, like it does not move once you put it on. And actually I'm gonna wipe it off now because it goes, it's that hard to get off if you wait. Like I did, I think I did a review of that and I kid you not, like I let it sit on my hands. Oh, it was hard to get off. So on to, I'm gonna stick with eyes, mascara. If you guys have watched any of my Face of the Months recently, uh, this is just one thing that I cannot live without. It is the Unique Mood Struck 3D Fiber Lashes and it comes with transplanting gel and a fiber. The transplanting gel is the longer of the two. The fibers is in this one. It is just, you can make anything from fluttery lashes to very dramatic lashes. It has been just amazing. I have been asked so many times when I'm wearing this if I have false lashes on. It is just, it is so nice. It, it just is one of those things that I didn't think I would like and became a favorite, a fast favorite. I've always been a person that said there really wasn't a difference with an eyelash curler. And I think, I truly believe that. I never really thought there was. I had never really, I had tried the um, Shu Yumera and the Shiseido ones and they were nice, they were, but I never really was like, oh my gosh, this thing is awesome. I was just like, they're nice. So when I got this, I did not have high expectations for it whatsoever. And it is the Surratt eyelash curler. It is black. It is very nice because it is, let me see if I can show you this. It is curved, but it is not tremendously curved. It's not like a circle. This just gives the best, has a nice wide opening, which is so important. It gives the best lift and curl of anything I've ever used. It doesn't pull, it doesn't tug, it doesn't catch on the edges of either corner. 
it just is phenomenal. It just, I would buy it 10 times over if this thing died. Like if it was something that, like a mascara that you used up, I would buy that over and over again. It's that good. On to lips. Uh, I have two of them on now and one of them I'm going to add. Uh, Mark Jacobs. I didn't even know he made lip liners. I think it was Makeup by Tiffany D. I was watching uh, a video she had on. And this is the... I forget what they call his lip liners. But this is the color Primrose. It just says the color on it. It's what I have on right now. Uh, it is same as the highlighters. It twists up. The only thing I think as a downside is the eyeliners have a sharpener on the end here. I wish this did because as you can see, when it gets a little bit dull, it's kind of harder to make that perfect defined line. Um, it works in this color. It's not an issue, but if it was a darker color, it would be an issue. The only downside with these is they are very limited in the color range they have. I don't know if they're going to expand that, but absolutely love those. Another big winner for this year that I absolutely loved is the... Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy 410 Vague Obsession is the one I have on right now. I have multiples of these. This is a liquid lipstick. So many companies came out with liquid lipsticks this year. This one was just my favorite. It's the perfect everyday, quick, easy, grab it and go on. I love the doe foot applicator and how it applies. It is just a beautiful nude color. I do have multiple colors as I mentioned. And that one is just my all-time favorite. Next thing, lip gloss. I do not use many of my lip glosses at all. I have a lot of them. I need to go through them and probably clean them out. I do not use them very often. However, this is the one I grab for every single time I want a lip gloss. And this is the Buxom White Russian. I think these are the cream glosses or creme glazes. It just, it's so smooth. It's not tacky. It gives you that beautiful just shine to your lips just absolutely gorgeous can go with any lipstick color you use or on its own absolutely beautiful uh last two things i'm going to jump in with i think this might have put me to 16 i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i'm gonna do a hair care and a skincare first thing you guys have watched me i have bounced back and forth between skincare this year tried a bunch of different ones however the most recent one has definitely blown the others out of the water. It is the Obagi New Derm System. I only brought in one. This is the Foaming Face Wash. However, I have the full line. I did buy them at Premier Look, which is Brianna Stanko's website. I will post her link below. Uh, I purchased them all myself, but it is a full line. And it's interesting because I started out with Colleen Rothschild, which I love. Love her line. I think it's a great line. Um, kind of felt like my skin hit a plateau, went to try, what was that brand? Oh God, Road and Field, sorry, the reverse line. I really like that. I saw a lot of really nice results. I think it just helped me because I needed that extra bump up. So that was really nice. But someone had mentioned to me, a few people had mentioned to me on my review of the Road and Fields that for the amount I was paying for that, I should try medical grade skincare. And yes, Roden Fields is done by a dermatologist, so it is technically a medical grade, but they, I think, cannot have the same grade of some items in their products. So with that, I was like, oh yeah, I should try medical grade. So I talked to Brianna, said, what do you suggest? We talked through it. I did the whole New Germ line. I added a few things to it, but I can't even explain to you the difference I have seen in my skin especially in dark sunspots. I had a few over here and one up here and that were noticeable, noticeable. And this has done such an amazing job that even now I'm only, I'm like a month and a half in on it. These little sunspots, I actually still have peeling on them because it is still getting rid of them. Because when I have no makeup on, they very faintly are there. That is how amazing this stuff is. It is truly getting rid of all the dark sunsets. I've actually started using it down my neck and onto my chest and I can actually see a difference there too. So I'm excited to keep going with this and really play with that. So love that. Then on to hair care. This year I found out about this item. I forget even who told me about it originally. I don't know if it was my friend Allison who's my hairdresser or someone else. I don't remember. But since I started using it, I've not used anything else. I'm in love with this. It is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil Sulfate Free Shampoo, Conditioner, Primer, everything. These are my travel size ones because I just got back and they were here on my desk. This stuff blows my mind. 
My hair is so smooth, so easy, and I can go days without washing it because of this stuff. Absolutely love it. I use less products on my hair now since I started using this stuff. It is wow. All right, on to my giveaway. I have a bin here of some things that were sent to me that I knew I wasn't gonna use. I talked to you guys about this a little while ago, and I said, let me give them away as a giveaway for the holidays. Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you guys, I have the baby gate up because the puppy's here sleeping, scotch. He was definitely a favorite for this year, too. So, I'm gonna do some giveaways. Here is the deal, must be 18 or have your parents' consent, must be a subscriber, and you must follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Um, I will put the links below. The reason that you need to follow me on Instagram and Facebook is because that is where I announce my winners. Um, so I will be announcing them there. I'm going to leave this open for, let's see here. This is going to go up on Monday. I'm going to pick the winners the Monday after. So one week, seven days. I will pick the winners and then you will have everything sent to you. First thing is from... Um, First Aid Beauty, and it is the Peace, Joy, and Fab set. It has Radiance Peel Pads, uh, Ultra Repair Firm Sleeping Cream, the Vitamin Hydrating Mist, the Ultra Repair Cream, and the Face Cleanser. This one is the biggest one, I would say, of everything. It's a fun one. Definitely if you want to try some new skincare for the year. Then the All-Star Hydration Kit is the Ultra Repair Cream, the Ultra Repair Wash, and the Ultra Repair Lip Therapy. So this one is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This is the Fab Cleanse and Exfoliate. It is the cleanser and the 10 day facial radiance pads. I'm sticking with one brand first. And then the Freshen Up, it is the Vitamin Hydrating Mist and the Ultra Repair Lip Therapy. All right, and then from, this is from a company called Cluse, C-L-U-S-E comes in a pretty little kit here. This is a watch. Very pretty watch with a band. And I think there's a gift card in here too. Pretty sure there is. Yep, I'm pretty sure that is. So, uh, oh, and it comes with a second band. Whoops, a plum colored band as well. So that is one. The Sleek Highlighting Palette in Solstice. The Annabelle Quad in Java Jive. This is a little um, pouch, like a little um, makeup pouch. The Love Alpha uh, Mascara, Fiber Mascara. The It Cosmetics Brow Powder, Universal Brow Pencil. The, let's see here, Sleek Bare Kissed Illuminator in Siba. All of these are still sealed, never been opened. Sleek Eye Divine Storm Palette. This one I can, oops, 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 never been used, but that's what it looks like, so you have an idea. I don't know what happened to the box if that came in the box. <laughs> Sleek True Color Lipstick in Papaya Punch Matte. And that is the color there. The, uh, is this, who is this by? I think this is Sleek too, but I'm not 100% sure. I think so, but I'm not 100% sure. Glitter Me Intense Sparkling Lip Gloss. Still wrapped. The Estee Lauder. What is this called? New Dimensions Shape and Sculpt Eye Kit. So it has a brow powder, a brow wax, and a highlighter. Uh, then we have the Color Design Matte Lip Crayon in the color Monsoor 100. Let's see here if I can show you the color at least. Oh, yep, there it is. Pretty bright red. Uh, okay, then I have, well, this is just going to be thrown in with somebody's. A little buxom shadow. I don't know why that's in there separately, but that'll just get thrown into somebody's as a bonus. Uh, the Lancome Rouge Definition Color Intense Bold Color High Pigmentation Matte Comfort in the color number Magenta 388. Okay, so that's the color there. 
Oops. I like their packaging. They've got gorgeous packaging. Two more things. Yeah. What, is, what is this one? This one does not say. Rouge definition. Does not say the color. Why does it not say the color? 184. Hmm. Don't know why it doesn't say the color. Pretty summer color, an orangey, reddish color. Again, same packaging. And then, last thing is the Intense Color Lip Color Velvet Matte Finish in the color number 172. Kind of looks like the, the lipstick I just showed you. Pretty for spring with the right skin tone, just doesn't work for mine. So that is everything. So let's see here. The best way to have you guys do this is, you know what, just write, enter, comment below, enter me. Let me know if there's anything that you do not want to be entered for. And I'm just gonna go through and put pictures on Instagram and my Facebook of each item. And I am going to just pick a random person as long as they don't say, you know, please, I'm not interested in the skincare. I'm not interested in the, you know, certain color lipstick. As long as you tell me what you're not interested in, I will go through and pick someone. You have 24 hours to respond to me with your full name and mailing address, and then I will ship it out next week to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions. Happy New Year, guys. So I will catch up with you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.